Tracing back to 3000 BCE, performance arts and entertainment have already been practiced by people around the world. One traditional entertainment culture is puppetry. Puppetry is a form of theater that involves the manipulation of puppets, such as inanimate objects, often resembling some type of human or animal figure that can be animated or manipulated by a person called a puppeteer. But puppetry is only a general term for an art form that holds a different meaning in every part of the world. Every style represents a certain heritage and continues to be a part of the entertainment culture belonging to the childhood memories of many. Here in Singapore, a land of rich cultures where tradition meets a lifestyle of constant urbanization, where does puppetry stand? Uh, so my name is Dala Gabriel. I'm from Indonesia, a city called Surabaya. My name is Hao Chen, and I'm from Malaysia. Um, my name is Kay. I'm from Indonesia, from a city called Surabaya. Uh, my name is Farid Liashan. I'm from. I'm born and raised here in Singapore. Hi, I'm Alexandra. You can just call me Alex. I am born and raised in Singapore, so I've always been here, never left. Yes. Have you seen puppetry in your own country? Uh, I think I have once uh, when I was in a field trip with my school to a city called Bali. It is a very well-known city. Um, I only know one thing. It's called Wayang Kulit. But I have no information or whatsoever about it because I'm not a very cultural person. Personally, no, I have not. I have seen them only in like cartoons and stuff. Like. Yeah. In I've never seen puppetry in real life, but in maybe TV programs like puppets, puppetries, a little bit of Chinese puppetry, I guess. Yeah, that's it. So, what are your thoughts on the current state of the puppetry field here in Singapore? Here in Singapore, I think there might be a little existence over here, but yeah, it needs like a lot of creativity. Uh, I think it's not really exposed enough because Singapore uh, doesn't really have a core tradition. Like, it's not really specific. That's why I don't see, see it much, yeah, rather in Indonesia. What do you think that um, can change this current state? Like, what do you think we can do to help that? Uh, I think the new generations can, like, take some part of the puppetry and, like, redesign it. Like, I'm from graphic. I can probably redesign the puppetry into another entertainment but take that inspiration and so it doesn't die and the next generation can still see the concept or the idea behind it. Unfortunately, I think it's going to be gone soon. I mean, I think as of right now, it's already gone. I wish they amped it up a bit, like hold more interesting things, but yeah, sadly, it's not that visible anywhere. I guess won't last long, I guess, like three to four more years, I think. I think it will fully die if no one actually heard of it yeah, anymore. Glove puppetry, Po Tehi in Hokkien, is a type of opera using cloth puppets that originated from the 17th century in Quanzhou or Zhangzhou of China's Fujian province. During a performance, a decorated puppet glove is worn on a hand and maneuvered to perform, as if an actor in a costume on stage. In Singapore, we have a local puppeteer specializing in potehi, who aims to inspire more children with the magic of puppetry. My name is Benjamin Ho. I am the artistic director of Paper Monkey Theatre. Paper Monkey Theatre is a puppetry company that specialises in doing puppetry. We only do stories from Asia. Um, we st the, I think I'm in this industry for quite some time now, since 1990.
unfortunately, the future is a bit bleak. But once we go beyond that already, there's no successor, there's no new and upcoming people that will be interested or qualified to carry on our footsteps and new puppetry. It won't die off, it's going to be there, but no long, I, I, I will doubt whether it becomes professional theatre again. Doing local theatre works, maybe it will be just lesser. We need to do something. So I know finger players have their training program, and I'm also starting one with a batch of young people. Family companies, they only concentrate on their own art form. They are performer, but they are not artists because they inherit to what they learn from their father and they perform exactly the same every year, every day. We, we don't. We try to create new content and we always challenge ourselves with questions. Why is this art relevant to society? So sometimes uh, if they are not very talented, they are very hardworking, they still can maintain but they will never be famous. But I also felt that tradition is very important. So these performers like that, like performance family, they are important also because they are keeping the foundation. Why? Why must we do this? Then my master will think, and say, oh, because my father says so, just do it. But for me as an artist, I don't accept it. But if there's no reason, and by removing it doesn't harm the whole art form, and yet you can push it to a high ground, why not remove it? Maybe it will sting, or maybe it will change to something else. But basically, puppetry will disappear. But with someday, some new things will happen. Puppetry was meant to have imagination. The worst ghost in any ghost story yeah, is the one you created in your brain, and not the one they show you through the movie. I also hope that I can create my own unique Singapore puppetry design. But even 30 years, I can tell you, no, it's not that easy. I'm still chasing this dream. Um, I think maybe. Yeah, it is. I would say it is. Yeah. Sadly, yeah. It is dying. I think it is, but I think it will come back at some point because, like, uh, there are different kinds of people taking inspirations from different kinds of part and regions and history, of course. Uh, and that's why I don't think it will die in the future time or, or in the nearest time, at least. Personally, yes, I guess. All these small amount of people have heard about it. Yeah, if it's not already dead, I'm pretty sure it's dying. Because uh, look at me, for example. And I'm pretty sure if you go out on the street and ask a random person around my age, or maybe even 30 years old, they probably wouldn't know that uh, Singapore had its own culture in puppetry. They would probably think it derived somewhere from another part of Asia. 